Someone told me I could make you see the brightness in her eyes I said I don't need a fake, it got the flow, won't let it die And I'm traveling these places, trying to keep up on that grind But even when we make it, me and Sino catch a vibe Grandma's getting it. <laughs> she fucked over. What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be talking about my Lexus. I've been having a few issues with this car. I know the title says I hate my Lexus IS350, but I actually don't. So don't get it twisted. This car is a great car. I'm gonna make a whole separate video on that. First thing... <sighs> trying to get me. First things first, I'm just gonna go over the flaws of the car that uh, I noticed while driving it. I've driven it for about like 50,000 miles, so let's do that. So jumping right ahead, we're gonna start talking about the flaws of the car. I've learned that there's a few issues the car has. Sorry the car's super dirty. I'm actually gonna be getting to that here in a second. We're gonna be cleaning the car with a new product that we got from Shine Armor, so stay tuned for that. But first things first, these cars have uh, issues with this front headlight. I wanna get, if I keep the car, I'm not 100% sure if I'm keeping the car or not. If I do keep the car, I wanna get new headlights just before the fact that they have problems with the driver's side headlight. Sorry, there's bugs trying to get me. They have uh, issues with the driver's side, side headlight. Uh, it just, I guess, something with the ballast or I, I don't. I'm not, I looked on the forums. I'm not 100% sure like what the issue is. The driver's side headlight t tends to go out on a lot of the Lexus IS, ES, GS, all the models. That kind of sucks right there. Another flaw we have is this clip just randomly broke out of the blue. Um, I didn't. I don't know what that is. This is tape because I had it taped up for the longest because I didn't have any zip ties. But I'm about to. I got to zip tie the rest of the bumper together. But it had like it was really weird that it just broke out of the blue. I don't know if that's a common problem, but that sucked. But you know what I'm saying. Lucy's getting a lot of love. She, she should be getting a lot of love here soon. Because I love her. If you've seen this, this is my fault. Um, I tried drifting one night and then I hopped the curb, but nothing happened to the car besides the alignment getting messed up. And then I had the 19 inch wheels on it and it did this out. But I can fix this with a little bit of touch up paint and then uh, flare the fender. So that's not too big of a deal. Other thing is when I got the car, the seats were perfectly fine. But um, I've been, I did a roadside assistance for a long time. So I guess for me sitting my butt up and down on this thing, it ripped the leather. So I don't know if that's something, that, if that's like a common problem, but it kind of sucks. But hey, I'm, I'm probably going to look for a new seat pretty soon. Probably go to the junkyard or something, get that fixed as well. That or am I just going to do red cat skin leathers, uh, seat covers. So that'd be dope. But I mean, everything else about the car, I kind of like. Um, like I said, I'll make a whole different video. You can guys check out my channel right now. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you guys want to see more of these videos. I will be making a video on the stuff I do like about the Lexus because there's a lot more pros than cons with this car. So stay tuned for that. Another uh, thing about this car is depending on how you drive, I tend to drive more city. So it gets about 23, 24 miles to the gallon city, which isn't terribly bad considering it's a 3.5 liter V6. It's not that good on the gas tank. I, I fill it up like every day, not like full, but I'll put like $10 in every day and then it's just gone. So just depending on how you drive, uh, the car can get good gas mileage, but for the most part, it's kind of, it's around like 19 to 25 on average. But I mean, if you're taking a long trip, you can get like 30, but if you're not doing a long trip, this thing kind of sucks on gas. But like I said, like driving wise and everything else, uh, the car is great. One thing that does suck about these cars that I actually fixed myself, I found something that you could use is, um, let's see, let's go to the audio. It has Bluetooth, but it's just for like receiving calls. It's kind of weird that they do that. I mean, yeah, it's a 2008, but I'm pretty sure they had Bluetooth for like audio back in 2008, but you can only get, um, you can only get Bluetooth for the cell phone, which sucks, but there's actually a, a little modification you could do that I might actually make a separate video on as well to, uh, get Bluetooth in your car because it does, it does come with an aux jack. Sorry, my car is like super dirty. I'm actually getting ready to go clean it right now, but, um, it does come with an aux jack which actually helps out a good bit also guys i want to know from you guys like what do you guys want to see like content wise on this channel um i've been i've been out for a little bit but i mean i'm gonna do a few more pranks and all this stuff i'm just starting to, i started a new job so i'm trying to like save up a little bit of money to get like props and stuff for pranks and just different stuff for videos but i've been kind of slacking on lucy hopefully i'm gonna make some videos i got new wheels for her, as you guys see and i got the enki the enki zr1s so that's pretty dope <laughs> i really like it they actually i don't know they look really good on the car in my opinion they kind of remind me of the Volk Rays, but they, they're in the 18s. They're 18 by 8.5, I think, so it really really makes the car look nice. I kind of do want to shut the car off. I'm wasting hella gas. Shut it off. 
Oh. But I kind of do want to lower the car, but it's like I said, I don't know if I'm keeping it or not. I think I might as well just keep it. I think I, I think I'm gonna just do springs or something. I don't want to lower it too crazy, just to get that like nice flush look, especially with these wheels. Planning on keeping these wheels for a good bit, hopefully. But I'm gonna do that, and then hopefully like a little wrap or something. So if you guys have any um, ideas on what, what I should wrap it, if you guys have been subscribers for a while, you know that I wrapped my CTSV in a crazy wrap. I did it in like an hour. It looked crappy, but I'm gonna get get it professionally done this time. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see like a crazy wrap done to this. I was thinking about like maybe like a u-haul sticker or something on the side i don't know something funny just to break people's necks but like i said there's not too many flaws with this car it's actually a really awesome daily driver it's cozy pretty quick it's, it's got like the whole package pretty much but i just wanted to point out a few of the flaws that i have with the car um because not not everyone gets to drive these cars and see like what actually the flaws are oh like a train But let's get to this package, guys. We got a package from Shine Armor, guys. They sent me this. Um, sent me, guys, is uh, it's an ultimate quick de detailer, which basically means it's a uh, waterless wash. So you don't have to wash your car before using this unless it's, like, muddy or something. So, I mean, obviously, you got thick mud. You're going to have to um, take it and get that wash. So they sent me a few of these right here. Got the microfiber towels from Shine Armor. Here's the product. It's called uh, Waterless Wash Shine Protect. So this thing's nice. And then it comes with a hose, ho hose. And then you basically you just spray it and then uh, wash your car. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool product. I want to see how it works because um, right now my car is really dirty. So let's uh, test it out. Also, I forgot to add that it's a ceramic infused three to one waterless shine coat and a uh, wash. So it cleans your car, makes it shine, and then it coats it and uh, actually propels the water off. So it's kind of like a wax kind of. So it's really nice. It, it removes dirt, grime, dust, and all you have to do is apply it and wipe it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, spray half the car right now. As you can see, the car is really dusty. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm going to do half the car on this side with the shine armor. And then I'm going to do half the car. I'm going to leave it the way it was without the shine armor. So let's see how this thing works. Hopefully it does really good. I heard it's got a lot of good reviews. And I also want to say thanks again to Shine Armor. If you guys want to buy this product, hit the link in the description. You can get a little discount, baby. Chasing the duffel like I'm in the NBA. Riding around with my slime like it's KCA. Can't trust nobody, can't trust what nobody say. Pretty and fake, man, I call them designer snakes. Pull up and act like I already own a place. Pull up on them when we dip, we don't leave a trace. Hop in the coupe and go off like I'm trying to race. Call it a game and I call it a paper chase. Chasing the duffel like I'm in the NBA. Riding around with my slime like it's KCA. Can't trust nobody, can't trust what nobody say. Pretty and fake, man, I call them designer snakes. Pull up and act like I already own a place Pull up on them when we dip, we don't leave a trace Hop in the coupe and go off like I'm tryna race Call it a game and I call it a paper chase I call my jeweler to give me some ice Don't buy it once if you can't buy it twice I took a risk, yeah. I'm not gonna even lie I, I washed that for like probably 25 seconds and You can see all the dirt and grime on the pad and Look at the difference I don't know, you can't really see on the camera, look, it's all shiny on this side, and it's super dirty on that side. Like, I can see myself in here, it's all dirty and grimy on this side. That's crazy, this product is amazing. <laughs> like, I'm not even just saying that. But, I'm probably gonna wash up the rest of the car like this, and then, uh, get my car nice and shiny. That's crazy. You guys definitely need to go try this product out. Um, I give it, I would give it a 10 out of 10, because, like I said, 30 seconds of just barely even washing it, and, like, look at it. Super shiny, super shiny, guys. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that difference, but look. <laughs> all dusty and grimy boom shine that's crazy this this product is really awesome i'm actually glad they hit me up and uh sent me this product because this thing is going to save my life when it comes to washing cars once again if you guys want a super amazing super fast super easy car care product quick detailer three and one ceramic coating all that stuff uh go check out shine i'm right now link in the description go get yourself some it's super affordable as well so you don't have to keep on paying 30 40 dollars for a car wash when you can just get this Spend an hour on your car, and then you get the beads, baby. I definitely recommend the product, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I had fun making it. This product, like I said, this product's awesome. Once again, like I said, I like my Lexus. It's it's a nice car, but uh, I don't know. Everything, nothing's perfect. So everything has a couple flaws, and I just wanted to share those flaws with you guys, as well as uh, cleaned up my car really fast. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you the next one. Peace. I'm catching vibes